So this is how lean I get in peak, peak condition. Now when I say peak condition, I mean peak fitness. I don't mean peak starvation, peak clean usage, peak calories in, calories out, Greg Duchesne starvation nation situation. This is me full, unlimited calories. Absolutely unlimited calories. And if you can look at my face, how happy I look. I don't look strung out, drawn out, bags under my eyes, moody. I am absolutely in peak manic Duran Rider vibes. All right. You know, because this is, this, this, this is what I laugh when people are like, you didn't go to university. And I'm like, dude, where's your abs, man? Where's your ripped, shredded physique without starvation? You can't, even with starving, you can't get as lean as me. All right? And it sounds arrogant, but it's true. If, like, all these people that say, do not, your program doesn't work. Dude, you're not as lean as me. You've never been as lean as me, man. All right? And, and the, the 1% of, 0.1% of people who have, got it, you got it through starving, and look what happened to your face. You didn't have good libido when you were this lean. You didn't have good fitness when you were this lean. You weren't being productive, making cash, getting things done, leaving legacy when you were this lean. You were absolutely miserable. You were doing the Greg Duche, blah, 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 you know, Athtren X, whatever, protocols of like starving yourself. And you only maintain it for a few weeks, all right? I maintain this leanness for months, okay? This leanness is from following my protocols, if you want to know what my protocols are, get my ebooks, get my coaching, go to durandride.com. It's cheap, it's affordable, there's no supplements. I'm not selling you supplements and nootropics or freaking wake up powders or go to sleep powders or, you know, protein gimmicks and blah, blah, blah. You don't have to use steroids or any drugs to get this lean. This is full natty bra, all right? My testosterone levels, they're, at this, they're probably about 600 nanograms, 700 nanograms deciliter. You know, um, so yeah, this this is you know I'm a lot you know more muscular now, but this is this is when I'm in peak condition, and by peak condition I mean my 10 minute power is at PR watts, my 5k running times at the best is you know the, just I can go put up my, my having my phone in my hand and go do park running like 16:35, like you know that sort of level of fitness, just really really high level fitness for me. I mean for some people it's like it's slow, but for me it's it's, it's PR. And it's not a lot of work either. Like I wasn't putting in crazy hours to get this fitness. Yeah, I have a base and I'm consistent. But look at my face. Do I look happy? Now compare my face. You know, this is genuine vibes here. Uh, compared to the average person who posts the shredded, you know, they, they look absolutely miserable. So what's your goal? Like, if, I mean, what good is, is it if you're ripped and shredded, if you feel like crap, man? If you've got no energy to bang hard, ride hard, run hard, sleep hard, be hard, you know, look, what's the point, man? What's the point of having a Ferrari and it's got a freaking Toyota Corolla motor in there. You put, you put the, yeah, you jump in the Ferrari and you put your foot to the pedal and it goes, blah, 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 you know? Like it's got, it's running on two cylinders. That's what baffles me. People are trying to, and then I'm trying to lose weight. I want to look this for my husband and my wife. It's like, dude, but you're going to be in a shitty mood. <laughs> it doesn't matter how, how ripped you are or how good your ass looks or whatever, if you're in a shitty mood, people are like, oh my god, you're such a drainbow to be around, man, like, seriously, I feel like a loser being around you, like, just, there's nothing getting done, there's just whining about nothing, whining about, you know, just people at work, or just, just, just arbitrary crap, because you feel so low, or you don't even have energy to whine, so that's what I recommend, you know, if you, like, I see people out there do all the time, I see people like professional athletes and stuff, influencers, I see people all over the internet, you know, I've trained thousands of people since 1996, training people to become their best selves without drugs, without steroids, and I have a lot of experience with steroids, using them myself, you know, coaching other people with it, being coached by, you know, superior, really experienced uh, steroid users. And I don't recommend doing steroids, you know. If your goal is weight loss, do not touch steroids all right they just <laughs> they're, they're called anabolic steroids for a reason because they make you gain weight steroids make you gain anabolic steroids make you gain weight 
All right, so don't do steroids if you want to get lean. If you want to get slim, stay away. If you want to build freaky amount of muscle for your genetics, then yeah, the steroids do that for you. Um, even if you're just sitting on the couch, steroids will pack muscle on you. Literally, steroids will build muscle on your body. You could be sitting on the couch eating freaking triple cheese pizzas and gain a stack of muscle. You'd still be fat because all the cheese is coating the, the, the muscle with fat, but you'll still gain muscle because it's just you've been in an anabolic state. This is how it is. That's why they give, you know, they give anabolic steroids to people in, in comas and burns patients to help them gain and retain lean muscle mass. Look at the studies. Look at the science. Most people disagree with me. Oh, you've still got to work hard on steroids. No, you don't. I mean, if you do, it helps, but you no, know, you don't. You, I like, look at my physique now, I'm like, you know, 79 kilos. In this picture, I'm more like probably like 63, you know, so I've gained, what's that, you know, 15 odd kilos of muscle, you know, maybe a kilo of fat in there, because uh, my condition, my fitness isn't, isn't I'm putting the, putting the work in the fitness, but I'm still very lean. I'm still shredded. I can still see my abs. I can still see a four pack. I don't have this sort of eight pack thing going on, but again, I'm not at my peak fitness level. So when I'm at peak fitness, when I put in the work there, then yeah, the body trims down a little bit more. But yeah, so anyway, that's the deal. Don't do steroids. You know, if, if your goal is weight loss, don't touch steroids. And don't listen to people who are steroid users who lie about their steroid usage. Oh, I just use a bit of TRT. I don't, no, you don't. You abuse steroids, man. And that's okay if you want to, but don't bullshit people, all right? So that's what happens is, you, you, that's why you don't get the results, people, is because you listen to these liars, these sociopathic, fake, narcissistic douchebags who just lie to your face to take your cash. And that's why you don't have results today. Look how many thousands of dollars and years and years of dieting you've spent and put into in the last year, 10 years, 40 years maybe. And look where it's left you today. You know what I mean? Look, honestly, look where it's left you. Look, look how many relationships you screwed up because you were starving yourself to get lean. Or things, maybe you didn't screw it up. Maybe because you're like, you know, or maybe you, or you did. You, everyone who's doing Starvation Nation screws shit up. Because your moods, you just you do shit you, you regret. Okay, you do things you regret when your cortisol's high from sugar phobia. So, yeah, that's, that's, where, that's where I am here to help you just live your best life. Uh, I'm super affordable. I'm not here to freaking be you know, driving Ferraris and stuff. I mean, yeah, you see me do that, but that's, you know, that's fun, but it's not what I'm here for. I'm here to help. I'm here to leave a legacy. Look at look what happened to that guy called Scott Murray. Google up Scott Murray. Google up Greg Duche. Uh, Greg Duche was coaching Scott Murray with his program and his, all his pre-workout powders and drugs and stuff like that, and Scott Murray died. Uh, Scott Murray took Greg Duche's advice, and who, who, has, who, who else, I mean, and he died. And now he's dead. Okay? The last photos I saw of Scott Murray was him holding up all these Greg Duche toxic drug powders. You know, that's what they are. They're toxic drugs. Greg Duche sells, in my opinion, sells toxic drugs to kids. Uh, that's my strong opinion there. And you can disagree with me, and that's okay. But that's, as a trainer of 20, since 1996, that's my opinion there. And that's not just Greg Duche, right? He's not the only one out there selling toxic drugs to kids and toxic, dangerous eating disorder programs to people. It's not just Greg, all right? It's, it's thousands of people out there. It's probably your average trainer at the gym. Oh, just do this. Don't, don't you know, cut this out and just starve yourself and take this drug, you know, caffeine or clenbuterol or whatever. It's a drug, okay? It has no place in weight loss. It has no place in my protocol. My protocol is 100% drug-free, all right? It's 100% drug free. And I've used drugs before, so I can speak from experience. You don't need drugs to get this lean. You don't. In fact, the drugs will, I would say, they will inhibit you getting this, this lean, staying this lean. You might get this lean through starving and tricking your hunger with drugs, but you won't stay there. You'll rebound and you'll damage your thyroid. Like my thyroid, my TSH level, and I don't take any T3, I don't take any T4, I don't take any medications or thyroid. Um, is still really, really good. My, my TSH sits around 0 0.8 to 1.3, 1.4, you know? And and that makes me feel really good. Like, when your TSH is low like that, you feel, you know, you feel better. Then when your TSH is like 4, 5, 6, 7, you feel sluggish and like blah, blah, blah. That's like the, the rebound TSH level. Anyway, that's the video. 
why, if your goal is to get as lean as me, not that you have to, you, like, you don't have to be this lean. A lot of people find this, this, this level of leanness grotesque, by the way, all right? You see me having hot girlfriends and stuff, it's not because I'm this lean. Like, the, 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 the women aren't in my life because I look like this elite level mouth. And that's not, no, no, don't, don't ever think that, okay? It's not that. It's the personality they stick around for, okay? Most women will look at this physique and go, it's, it's too skinny, it's too lean, okay? So don't, don't be thinking that you have to be this lean to pull the babes I do. You definitely don't. In fact, it would probably hinder you because uh, you'd be more, more focused on uh, other things. But anyway, that's the deal. Why starve, man? Why starve, okay? And again, you don't have to be this lean. I'm not saying this is, this is like the gold standard by any means. It's not. It's definitely not. <laughs> it's definitely like, like how many people will you meet in your life who, who get this lean any way possible? Very, very rare. And how many people will you meet who are this lean who are genuinely, genuinely happy, energetic, and aren't reliant or dependent on stimulants or even using stims? You know, how many people will you meet like that? That's what I'm talking about. All right? Look at my girlfriends over the years. I mean, most of my clientele are women because women want to get skinny. And I am absolutely the world authority on weight loss, especially, especially for women. All right? There's no man out there. Women, who do you know who consistently has just more ascetic, you know, vibey, glowing girlfriends? Like my girlfriends, when they're with me, look at the videos. When, they, when they're living with me, they glow, all right? They absolutely glow, okay? You can, you can look at their before, their before and after photos on Instagram or YouTube, whatever, afterwards or before we live together. Or after, and it's not the same. There's an X factor, okay? Doonride.com, hate to be salesy, but I literally sell the best. Everyone's selling something. Everyone's buying something. Hey, you're spending your money. You might as well get the best. You may as well get the best. Save time. Save money. Save your ascetics, women. Save your ascetics. No man wants to be with a whale. All right. Doesn't and just because you're a whale doesn't make you a bad person. I'm just saying. Doesn't you know? Like I've got plenty of friends. You know, people I know who are whales, and that's the that's their terminology they use. Um, and they're great people, beautiful people, amazing people. Amazing people, okay? And, but they're going to have health issues, or they do have health issues, and they don't like being a whale, right? So if you are happy being a whale, then that, that, we love that. I love that, you know? You're happy? Fantastic. But I've never met anyone who, who loves being a whale. I just haven't met anyone, okay? And, and that's your choice, you know, if you want to be a whale. But no, I've never, I don't know anyone who wants to be a whale. But people think that that's, they just have to be a whale because there's no other way. And that, that really hurts. It hurts me, man. You know, It hurts me knowing that people that I don't want to be a whale, but I, don't know, I, can't, I can't lose weight because blah, blah, blah. Because they follow the wrong advice. Right? If you're a whale and you want to be a dolphin or you want to be a wahoo or a Spanish mackerel or a sardine or a banana instead of a banana box... DuranRider.com. Let me help you help yourself, and together we're going to get you on the right track. Finally, you deserve it. You deserve it, man. You deserve it. 